everybody, and welcome to Triple Kiss. So, Emily posted her video on Monday about Islam and the whole burn the Koran deal and that kind of thing. And I really like that Venn diagram you made, Emily, because that is actually a really common misconception people make, that all terrorists are Muslim, but not nearly all Muslims are terrorists, so good connection there. I think the whole burn the Koran day was a really terrible thing, just really mean and cruel and all that stuff, but yeah, at the same time it is freedom of speech, but I don't know. I don't know how far it goes. It's a really hateful thing to do to one group of people, to another group of people, just like the discrimination which we were talking about last week. They're going to build the mosque slash community center. I think it's mostly community center, I'm not sure. But they're going to build it near the 9-11 site. I also thought that was kind of stupid for people to just react so abruptly to that. And I don't know what the Quran says. I really don't know much about Islam or any of that stuff, but all religions have messages of hate woven into their texts. I mean, the Bible advocates discriminating against homosexuals, but we still shouldn't do it as good moral people. Just because a religion has something in the book doesn't mean you have to follow it. Even if you are a member of that religion, you need to be able to think critically for yourself. Is this right? Is this good? versus is this wrong. Even if the Quran does say something like bomb other nations, that doesn't mean you should do it. That means you need to think, you need to use your head, you know, critical thinking people. And just because some population of some religion does something that you don't agree with doesn't mean you should burn their religious text, doesn't mean you should do anything else to discriminate against them, doesn't mean any of that, because again, not everyone in that religion's bad. And if you do do it, please just don't announce it to the public. Do it in the privacy of your own home, maybe in a small community of people who are just as close-minded as you. Don't go announcing it to the whole world. We don't need to hear it. We don't need the drama, honestly. We've got way more important issues in the world going on right now. We don't need to hear from you. And again, the United States does have freedom of religion, so we need to work to accept people of all faiths, as well as accept people with no faith. Finally, in all triple kiss, I'd like to announce that I am also participating in NaNoWriMo, and I'm very excited about it. Um, this is my first year, so please put encouraging words of wisdom if you have participated in it before, because honestly, I'm kind of scared right now, but I think I can do it. I just need to sit down and figure it out, because I've wanted to write my own novel for a while now. And this seemed like the perfect opportunity to just jump on it. And don't forget to post your video response to this video or any of the other videos of us talking about any of the topics this week or last week. Just to be in the triad because we need another member. We need a third member. There's only two of us. We're lonely. We need one more person to be a triad. Okay, so thank y'all for watching and I will see you next Wednesday. And Emily, I will see you on Monday. Bye.